Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice factorial equation and here we have n square minus 19 times of n equals to n factorial. So here uh, we need to find the values of n. So here uh, first uh, we will little bit explain about the factorial. So you know that if we have uh, one factorial if you have one factorial then we write it as one and if we have two factorial then we write it as two times of one and it is equals to two and if we have three factorials then we write it as three times of two times of one and it is equals to six and similarly so in uh, here you see that in factorial we just uh, decrease one and we multiply all the terms till one so if we have four factorial we write it as four times three times two times of one and it is equals to four three is a twelve and twelve twos are twenty four and if we have five factorial so we write it as five times four times three times two times of one and when we multiply all these uh, numbers then you get here 5 4 is 20 23 is 60 62 is 120 so uh, here you see that uh, we have 4 3 2 1 and uh, we know that 4 3 2 1 equals to 4 factorial so we write 5 factorial as 5 times of uh, 4 factorial and similarly uh, if i can write here uh, 6 factorial so it will be equals to 6 times of 5 factorial and up to so on uh, if we write here over 100 factorial then we write it as 100 multiplied by 99 factorial so this uh, sequence shows that uh, we convert any number to the product of uh, uh, factorial sign if we decrease one here so if i can write general so we write it as n factorial equals to n times of n minus one factorial because here if you uh, multiply 100 and you decrease by one and you multiply by this factorial so you get here over 100 so we write the 100 factorial as 100 multiplied by 99 factorial so now we just put uh, n factorial equals to n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial in the right hand side of the given equation. So uh, here we have our given equation and now we substitute uh, this n factorial by n into n minus 1 factorial and we write it as n square minus 19 times of n equals to n times of n minus 1 factorial and now we divide both of the sides by n because n be the common term so that here we divide uh, n on both of the sides of uh, this equation so that here when we divide both of the sides by n then you get here n square over n minus 19 n over n equals to n times of n minus 1 factorial divided by n and now here you see that this n is cancelled by this one and we obtain here n minus this n is cancelled by this n minus 19 equals to this n is cancelled by this one and we have n minus 1 factorial so now we convert uh, our n minus 1 factorial uh, into the simple form so that here uh, we will just take n minus 1 factorial equals to y and we convert our whole equation in terms of y. So when we take y equals to n minus 1 and he, this implies that our n equals to y plus 1 so y plus 1 will becomes equals to n so now we substitute these two values on the above equation and we write it as so here you have n and our n equals to y plus 1 and this is minus 19 equals to 
we have n minus 1 factorial is equals to y and it will becomes y factorial and now here we simplify uh, the left hand side and we write it as uh, y 1 minus 19 equals to 18 so we get y plus 18 equals to y factorial so now here we find the value of y by inspection which satisfies this equation so that here uh, when we take y equals to 1 then you put the value of y on both of the sides of this equation and you see that we have 1 plus 18 equals to 1 factorial and 1 plus 18 becomes 19 equals to 1 factorial becomes 1 and 19 is not equal to 1 so that y is not equals to 1 it is not possible and now we substitute here uh, another value so we take it here y equals to 2 so now we check at y equals to 2 so when you put y equals to 2 here then you get 2 plus 2 2 factorial and we have 2 plus 18 becomes 20 and 2 factorial equals to 2 so it cannot be possible so y is not equals to 2 so similarly now we check here at y equals to 3 so that when you put y equals to 3 in the above equation then you get here 3 plus 18 equals to 3 factorial and we have 3 plus 18 becomes 21 and 3 factorial equals to 6 so it is not possible so that we cannot choose y equals to 3 and now we uh, substitute here uh, y equals to 4 so when you put y equals to 4 uh, in this equation this equation then we get here 4 plus 18 equals to 4 factorial and 4 plus 18 becomes 22 and our 4 factorial equals to 24 so here you see that we write our 4 factorial so this is our 4 factorial it is equals to 24 so now we put the value of this 4 factorial and it becomes 24 so it is not possible so can we cannot choose y equals to 4 and now we we will check here at y equals to 5 so when you put y equals to 5 in this equation then we get here 5 plus 18 equals to 5 factorial and this implies that 18 plus 5 becomes uh, this will be equals to 23 and we have 5 factorial equals to Similarly, when you substitute all the values of y here, then you see that uh, y equals to 5 here, 23 becomes 120, so it is not possible. Uh, so, here uh, we conclude, finally conclude that uh, any value, we cannot find any value of y which is satisfied this equation, so that here we cannot find or there is not exist an integer solution of this problem. So that here we cannot find the value of n. So this is the final conclusion. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.